Hey everyone, shout out to my Patreon supporters. If you feel like supporting this channel as well, just head on over to Patreon. If not, that's fine too. And I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for the support on this channel. Leave it to the UFC to turn one of the most polarizing figures in our sport, one of the biggest heels in our sport, Colby Covington, into a sympathetic figure right now. I am actually feeling bad for Colby Covington. Let's just recap how we got to this point. Colby Covington won the interim welterweight title by beating Rafael Dos Anjos in Chicago at UFC 225. The UFC was rolling the dice by making this interim title fight so we can have champion versus champion, Tyron versus Colby, a fantastic feud. He wins, and the whole thing pays off. I'm the undisputed champion now, and everybody knows this is the real bet. I was supposed to fight Tyron Woodley last December. He b***ed out. Colby coming out of one side with a belt, and Tyron coming out of the other. That's when you get the payoff for all of the, the bit of a bumbling that the interim title has become. But in this particular situation, Colby and us as the fans were told that fight with Tyron was going to happen around November. Colby goes, dude, I'm down for the fight. I just went five rounds. Willie's been out for how long? I can do it in October, November. Just let me get ready. I just said, I'm going to have sinus surgery. That's fair. And they went, nope, strip me of the belt. You're going to strip Colby of his interim belt. What happened there? Oh, nothing. I, I mean, we did the interim title because when you do the interim, the interim then fights the champion. Well, Colby isn't ready to fight the champion. Tyron looking for submission here. He does have a Dawes choke on his resume. Darren Till not the tap and tight. They got a tap. Tyron Of when you think of a next challenge? You know, it's kind of tough to say because anytime I say I want to fight a certain person, it doesn't get the um, get the response I want. So what I'm going to do is just continue to fight wherever they put in front of me. I'm going to beat them up. I'm the best world winner of all time. Dana, what's up, bro? How you doing? How you doing? I just want an explanation why I'm not fighting for the belt this weekend. Stop filming. I was supposed to be fighting this weekend. Why am I not fighting this weekend? You know I offered you the fight. You could have took it. Now you're going to have to wait. And I'm the number one guy in the world. You can't take away my ranking. I won a belt. I did it all. Next time I call you, say you want to fight, say yes. It all comes down to this. Tyron Woodley and Kamaru Usman. Oh, oh man. Man. Tyron with a big elbow. Woodley to wait to take the losing paycheck to me, but he wanted to come out here and take this losing paycheck to Snoozman. So Snoozman's next, man. He's got nowhere to hide now. I'm putting him out cold, I guarantee you. Mark my words. The welterweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, Kamara Usman! There was only one champ in the building at the welterweight division, and he was among the fans, and that's me. That's why I'm the people's champion. I still believe I'm the greatest welterweight of all time, so now my path is getting back and getting a belt. Sometimes the greatest champions have to face adversity and bounce back. So I'll ask you, uh, Colby Covington's getting the next shot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll get the next shot. As long as he accepts it and shows up for the fight, he will get the next shot, yes. I've had five knee surgeries. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I saw you limping. Did you have one recently? I just had surgery. Actually, um, I had surgery on Tuesday. Oh, that's a hernia, um, right? I had a double hernia. Jesus. Yes. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Colby Chaos Covington. Marty Fake News, man. We can do it tonight. We can do it right now. Where you at? Where you at? I'm coming for you. Doing it right now. The night's still early. Where you at? Finishes Kobe Covington. That has got to feel good. Uh, Kamal won the fight, bro. Kobe's y'all. Kobe, I thought, was winning the fight by a little small margin. If I were to punch Kobe, he may be on life support right now. When I'm looking at how many punches those guys took, um, I was impressed with their durability. I was impressed by the fact that they kept doing it over and over again. It was kind of a teeter tottering thing. But as far as IQ, moving your head, maybe. 
for the side so the punch misses your head. I didn't see a lot of that. I just don't like when people try to give unnecessary savage moments. Yeah, he broke his jaw. Oh, he broke his jaw in the second round and he kept fighting. But you lost. No, f both of them. Let's start things off with something fresh, and that was this past weekend, your longtime rival, the man that last time you were on the program, you said you wanted to face in Tyron Woodley. A very tough fight for him uh, this past weekend against Gilbert Burns, but a very impressive showing from Gilbert Burns. So just wanted to get your thoughts, man. What did you think of that fight uh, now that it's in the books? Guys, let's start off by having a moment of silence for Woodley's career. Hold on one second. Just, just one second. Moment of silence. The fight we really want to see is you versus Colby. There's a great story there, and I know that it's been dragging, and I know this is the fight that you wanted to happen. Is that the fight? Does it have to happen? I'm not going to say I'm fighting anybody. Any I don't do that. That's that's what the, the rookies get on the mic and say. I'll fight anybody. No. The opponent that makes sense, we'll sit down there and we'll talk about it. Tyron Woodley's good looking. Got the perfect physique. Uh, he's got the record. He's, and he, he's got knockout power in both hands. But every time Tyron Woodley opens his mouth, he shoots himself in the foot. He's just, he's just a, he's a very unlikable guy to fight fans. It's the way Tyron Woodley has always been, and it is the way Tyron Woodley will always be. Win, lose, or draw. We finally have a little bit of clarity because Colby showed us a signed bout agreement to take on Tyron Woodley in August. Now, Tyron came back and said, eh, I'm still a little banged up. I just went five rounds with Gilbert, and I'm getting real close to getting back in the gym. I need a little more time. Colby signed the deal, and he's ready to go. So, just waiting on Woodley. He's washed up. You don't want to fight no more. How are you just going to make up a fight day? And ain't nobody talking to me about this day and if I want to fight on that day or whatever. It don't even make sense. So, yes, I will fight him, but I'm going to do a camp. There's no fight left in him. He's literally just showing up to get paychecks. He was cashed out years ago. He should be scared because he talked a lot of shit. Now he's going to get hurt. I get what Colby's doing. I mean, he's making a lot of noise and trying to do business. And if you fight him, you're going to make a lot of money because a lot of people are going to come to see him get his ass kicked. You want to end his career. I want to end his life. He knows I'm the money fight. I, I built that fight. And no one wants to see him. They want to see me. Now he's got Tyron so mad. Tyron wants to f kill him. All the shit talking Colby's been doing. He did interviews with people. He told them, don't bring up Colby's name. I don't want you to even bring up his name. Because he didn't want Colby getting any attention. But now it's too late. I've never met a more lazier piece of shit than Colby Covington. A more horrible human being than Colby Covington. It's an easy matchup for me, man. I've trained hundreds and hundreds of rounds sparring an American top team with me, so I'm the most well-rounded fighter on the planet. I, I can now strike anybody. My pace alone is, is unstoppable. No one can keep with my pace, and, and Tyrone Woodley's felt that in the gym. He knows it. You know, he's tired at home. He's probably still out of breath. This kid is for real. All the trash talk aside, all the theatrics, he can fight. I see me breaking him in the first or second round and him quitting in the third round. He has no cardio. He just backs up. He's real predictable to fight. So I will melt Tyrone Woodley and finish him. He also said that he beat you, beat you up in sparring there were times where like you wanted out it was always very one-sided in sparring not only is he never taking me down ariel he's never won a millisecond of a round tyron's mad he doesn't yeah. like colby yeah he's he doesn't angry. like him yeah. yeah an angry tyron is a scary human being yeah he might be the fastest hardest hitting 170 pounder that's ever lived what? he fights he's real predictable all he has is a right hand he's got no gas tank he backs up and fights people are scared of his power i'm not scared of his power i'll go right into his power i'll get him in the clinch i'll do whatever i want with him i'll finish him inside three rounds mark my words it's so frustrating to have somebody in your face constantly not giving you time to breathe it's like you're drowning dude this kid's cardio is insane just pop pop constant constant attack constant kicking him constant punching him Kobe Covington is really taking it to Damian Maya right now I've never wanted to beat somebody up so bad but now he's to the point where it's almost like my duty as a martial artist to fuck him up oh that's it now that's it hey, everybody wants to see me retire Tyrone Woodley I'm gonna be the good guy now everybody's gonna say I'm the good guy because he's a race baiter he complains too much now you gonna get what you asked for now you gonna get your ass beat I'm not going to knock you out quick. It's not going to be no first round knockout. I'm going to embarrass you. I'm going to talk to you the whole fight. I'm going to tell the referee, get back. You're not getting my way. you not stop this. I'll tell you when it's time to stop this. The problem is when they lock this octagon, 
I'm gonna unleash an ass whooping on him that nobody has ever experienced.